going to the Solar Hotel for some reason. <laughs> I was curious to see what it looks like from the outside during the daylight. Seriously, it's raining. Typical Saturday weekend winter Tasmania. Rain, 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 go away, come again another day. Windscreen's farting. Silo Hotel. <laughs> what did you just do, Adam? I just did a reverse park and it was flawless. I'm the king of the universe. <laughs> and he's all like doing them. Yay! <laughs> Dude, this used to be a dumb old spiral and now it's a hotel. Mm hmm. Oh, I think this has something to do with it because it's in May. Um, because we get floods here. See, it's on pylons and everything's up level because of floody. Wow. See this round bit? Part of the silos. Oh, inside of a silo. The Launceston Grain Elevator was opened in 1959. It was converted into a hotel by local entrepreneur Errol Stewart. place has been built out of an old grain silo that was a fairly iconic kind of structure here in Launceston. The bit that we're sitting in at the moment is a new building that they've tacked on the front, uh, but if you look over that way you can actually see the curved concrete from the original silo. Such a curved concrete from the original silo. Mummy has her coffee. And daddy's got his water. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, that's better. Coffee's the best. <laughs> what shirt are you wearing, Adam? <laughs> well, I'll show you. <laughs> that's one way to solve the problem of not wanting to take your jumper off. Well, in winter, you get to wear your nerdy t shirt, but no one sees it because you always got to put a jumper on. So, yeah. Solution. <laughs> what shirt are you wearing today, Chloe? Oh, nerdy t shirt. <laughs> Lunch with Harry talking about zombies and computer games. The food is really, really good. And let me tell you what's extra this special. This is amazing. This looks amazing. Let me tell they you are cool. how much. So we're just sitting down eating lunch and this helicopter just lands across the road. You don't see that every day. But what did you just say you were going to do for your chips? Have a <laughs> Did you enjoy your chips? Yeah, I want them more. <laughs> All about the doggy. Wow.
Archie is the canine ambassador for the Silo Hotel. His job is to welcome visitors. Oh no, isn't it cute? He's got a bow tie. Yeah, look at his tie. It's cute. It's oh, he's adorable. He's so shiny. Why would he... He's a shining star. I want a dog. <laughs> yeah, you're going to look after it if you get a dog. Hi, Archie. Hi there. How are dogs. you? You seem like such a lovely boy. Mummy, do you? Oh, you want to shake hands? Shake. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Shake his yeah, it shakes. It's lovely. They've cleverly incorporated the curve of the silo into the architecture. It's really effective. this whole area up. I mean this was all scrub and bush and yeah weeds but of course now they've got the hotel here they've made this whole area really nice. So what do you think of this place Harry? I'm wondering what they're building down there and I don't know what's up here. Well, that's a car park down there. You can see Seaport over there, just on the other side of the river. They're actually in the process of building a bridge. So when it's all done, this whole area here with the hotel will link up with the Seaport and it'll all be just one big nice place that you can go and hang out. This particular area we're standing um, over there, the cement bit, we usually sit there to watch the fireworks because the fireworks are usually over here. And you can see they've actually built up a bit, bit more dirt and made it not as steep because they're actually trying to transform this entire landscape. So it's really interesting. And that's that bridge they're building over there. And the Seaport Hotel's there as well. I reckon this is like a little sort of area that they must sit people outside when the weather's not horrible like it is today. But check it out, little balconies in the silo. They're in a silo. So cool. So you can actually stay in the round silo bits. So my uh, work interview dinner is actually going to be here at the silo hotel. They've already booked us in. Should be cool. Prices for rooms in the silo hotel range from 183 to $449 per night. Looks a lot nicer out here at the front than we first arrived now that the sun's out. Welcome to Tasmania. If you don't like the weather, come back in five minutes. It'll be a different season. This is the bridge they're building to connect the silo to the seaport. It's going to be 120 metres long for pedestrians and cycling. It's going to be so cool when it's all finished. Well, if you're going to be staying at the Silo Hotel, you're going to want some things to do while you're in Tassie. We've got just the thing for that. We have a playlist with all of our Tasmanian travel adventures. Just click the card above and you'll be there. So what do you reckon? Have you ever stayed in an interesting or unusual hotel? Have you ever seen a hotel that's been built out of something unexpected? Let us know in the comments. I'd be really interested to hear. And don't forget to click that big round subscribe button below my head because that way you'll be able to keep up with all of our adventures. And that'd be cool.